Hello there. In reviewing a tower, which I've almost never done, actually certainly never really done, it's important to consider a lot of things, do a lot of data, look at different circumstances, compare it to different towers in the game, look at different combinations to see how the tower plays out. I'm going to do a portion of that, and that's the best you're going to get. So the first thing that I notice about this tower is that it's not a horrible price and it has good range. I would put both of those things at like a 4 or a 5 out of 5. Pretty good. Obviously, I've written some other things down that I'm talking over, and those are worth mentioning as well. And if you notice at the bottom of the screen in some of these clips, I am clicking on the enemies to see how much damage they're taking from this tower. Now, what about the tower abilities? Everything seems pretty good so far. Good range, pretty good price. Um, well, it's slowing ability, I would say, is its best thing. All enemies stuck in the lava flow are going to have 50% of their speed reduced. That is excellent, and it's happening every single time. I think it lasts the entire duration of the lava being on the ground, which is awesome. So it should be there constantly every four seconds. So I think it's 100% uptime, in which case, sweet. Now, you do get a golem that you can summon here, a lava elemental looking guy, and it's, it's pretty good. Um... It can only stall one enemy, though, is the problem. But yeah, you're, you're definitely going to want that in the vast majority of circumstances. Now, one thing that needs to be noticed and mentioned is that one of the abilities makes it so that an enemy, so only one, takes 50 to 100% more damage from all damage sources. And then when it blows up, it can do <clears throat> a max of 76 damage, kind of a weird amount. I haven't even like noticed any enemies glowing or anything in this regard happening, so I don't really like this ability. It's pretty much the same thing as Shadow Mark, which is already not very good in this. So I don't think that that ability is worth it, like at all. But the slowing thing is the number one priority. Number two is probably the Lava Elemental, because honestly, you should be using a Barrack to support these guys, because they have really good damage over time. So when the Blast hits, obviously it's lowering the HP for however long an enemy is stuck in the Lava Pool. So if it hits them and they're about to leave that, it's not going to do as much damage, I think. I think. I don't know, I can't even see. Probably should have seen that before I started rambling. But overall, <clears throat> this tower is probably like a 6.5, 7 out of 10 or something like that. I generally think that it's outclassed by Goblin War Zeppelin, which has its own form of slowing and stunning in the form of the oil that it spills. So it's like, why wouldn't you just use that? I don't think Goblin War Zeppelin is worth it in every regard. But it's DPS and it's movability and utility just make it kind of better in pretty much every circumstance. Additionally, look at this. The biggest weakness. These explosive blasts do not splash up to flying enemies. And if I'm wrong on any of this, please post it in the comments so I can pin it or make a correction video. Overall, not a bad tower.